Ciao Bellas and welcome back to my channel for another Let's Talk Thursday and this week we're doing part two of my mind, body and spirit series and the second part is about the body. So if you want to hear my tips for keeping that body part of the whole trio that makes up who you are right and tight and all the way together <laughs> then keep on watching. Let's talk about it. Tip number one, move. It's really simple, you know, it doesn't take going from zero to 100 to get your body in the right kind of shape that it needs to be in to function properly. Just move, just start small. You can start with walking um, every day for maybe 30, 45 minutes. That's not that long when, you know, you think about if you have a pet, take your dog for a walk around the park or just walk around the park and enjoy the outside and the, the nature and the air and just, you know, being outside. As a society, we're so plugged into TV and computers and cell phones and apps and this and that. Sometimes it's good to just get outside and that actually will help that mind part of this trio of, of um, taking care of the whole of you, but it definitely will help your body also. You don't have to go spend two hours in the gym, um, hire a personal trainer and all that. Now by all means, if that's something that you feel like is going to get you motivated and get you to get into your goals quicker um, and that's something that will work for you, go ahead, do it. But you don't have to start there. You can start with just making an effort to implement small little things into your daily regimen. And that's just like moving, just a little bit of movement every day. It's good for you and it helps your body in the long run. For me, I love yoga, so I have been slacking, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't been in the gym like I should be. And I just recently got back in the gym and started doing yoga and I swear every part of me is sore right now, but <laughs> it's gonna pay off with my wedding being less than two months away. I'm trying to have it all together, you know? So yeah, move. <laughs> Tip number two, fuel your body properly. You have to be conscious of the foods that you put in your body. Again, it doesn't have to be super dramatic changes overnight, but small little changes like cutting down or cutting out fried foods, fast foods, Things that you know are not good for your body aren't going to help you attain the goals that you're trying to reach. At the end of the day, the Bible tells us that the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So we have to treat it that way. We have to treat our bodies like a temple. And so fried foods, fast foods, these, you know, processed, over-processed, and just all the garbage that we have <laughs> that's easily accessible but not good for us, Try cutting those things down. Um, I, for me personally, I don't eat red meat. Um, I would like to completely cut out meat and go vegetarian, even vegan. Um, but I swear chicken calls my name sometimes. It just calls. Anyway. <laughs> chicken and turkey is like the hardest things for me to cut out. But what I try to do is make sure that I implement vegetables. I try to have something green with every meal. Um, and just include things that I know are good for me and cut back on those things that aren't. Like I don't, I don't fry food, I, I didn't grow up that way so it's not something that I'm accustomed to anyway. So I don't fry food and I try to limit how much I eat out and when I do eat out I try to choose restaurants that have healthier options at least. It doesn't have to be major things but start slow, make those small changes so that they're easy to maintain and they become lifestyle choices and not diets or fads. The other part of fueling your body properly is getting supplements in. As a society we just do not get enough vitamins, minerals, all the things that we need for our bodies to operate the way that they were designed to operate at optimal levels. And it's because we don't eat enough vegetables, we don't eat enough fruits, we just don't get enough of the things in us that we need. So supplements are really important to add into your diet to make sure that you're getting everything to help your body operate at the best that it can possibly operate. One of the supplements that um, I'm taking now is called Kayani and I absolutely love it. It's um, a really, really great product. So much so I became a distributor. <laughs> so I can definitely leave, um, leave that information down below. I can show you one of the products I have here. This is the uh, Sunrise part of the trio that is um, taken in the morning, obviously by the name Sunrise, and it is packed with 17, 17 superfoods. It would take large amounts of 23 different fruits and vegetables 
to get what's in this little one ounce packet. This did it for me. Like, <laughs> I've juiced before and it's time consuming, it's expensive because you go buy all these organic fruits and vegetables, by the time you blend them up, you get about two cups of juice and <laughs> you know, you've spent $40 or something. So this is essentially juicing in one ounce. And there, it's packed with so many great benefits. I won't go on and on about it. Like I said, I'll leave that information down below. You can go to my website and check that out if you want some more information. And I'll be glad to shoot that to you or send you some video links and things that you can take a look at. So yeah, that would be my other tip to fueling your body properly is to get your supplements. Tip number three and the last tip, be kind to your body. <laughs> Just love on it. Wherever you are, whatever stage you are in the journey of getting your body to its healthiest, and that does not mean skinny, it doesn't mean a certain size or a certain weight, it means the healthiest that your body can get to. Nobody's built the same. So your healthy may not be my healthy, may not be Susie's healthy or <laughs> whatever. So it's about getting to your optimal level of health and fitness and taking care of your body the best that you possibly can. So be kind to your body. Love on it where it is at this stage. Don't compare yourself to other people because like I said, we're all built differently and nobody is gonna be alike. You can't look at somebody else's results and expect to get there in the same amount of time or in the same manner. Give yourself a break, <laughs> you know? Don't beat yourself up. If you slip a couple of days or you know you don't make it to the gym that day that you wanted to, or you ate that piece of fried chicken and you know you shouldn't have had it, it's okay. You, you, it's not the end of the world. Don't beat yourself up. Just get up the next day and try to do it better. So those are my tips for taking care of and nourishing and feeding that body part of the mind, body, and spirit. Hopefully you enjoyed. I uh, hope you come back next week to hear my thoughts on some tips for the spiritual part. So that's all I got for you guys this week. I love y'all. Until next week, love. Bye. Ciao.